All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my God, we just got a lot of information regarding the season one update for Black Ops 6 and Warzone. So we got the season one roadmap along with so much information pertaining to season one of Black Ops 6 and Warzone. So we're going to go over everything here. If you guys are interested in this blog post, I'm going to put the link in the description below so you guys can check that out. Follow along if you want. And real quick, if you guys could do me a big favor, I would really appreciate this very much. Please drop a like on today's video. Subscribe if you're new around here let me know in the comment section below what are you looking forward to the most i'm not gonna lie to you guys man hacienda being back oh that's a big plus so here it is ladies and gentlemen here it is guys here's the season one roadmap november 14th by the way all right so let's start things off here with the multiplayer maps one of the maps is called hideout it's a 6v6 all of these are 6v6 really sharpen your combat skills and it's mid-size multiplayer map and that's what i was gonna say i was gonna say it looks like a mid-size map all right this next one here is called heirloom and it's gonna be a 2v2 6v6 um it's gonna be a small size map obviously Obviously. probably meant more for like face off and stuff like that so that should be fun hopefully it's good get a brand new this is a medium sized map here it's called extraction we're getting the return of one of my personal favorite maps from black ops 4 ladies and gentlemen hacienda is back man and this is the daytime because there was a daytime and a nighttime this map is really fun it plays really well i can't wait to play this one reading another map here mid-season it's called racket this is one of those 2v2 6v6 so it's a small size map and also for the mid-season update we're getting the nuketown holiday uh which would just be a themed map map for the season i believe and moving along here guys we're going to be getting some new game modes first one is called ransack it says here ransack sees you looting gold bars from crates uh dotted around the area uh, of operations on 6v6 maps once gathered secure your loot by bringing it back to your team's stash naturally this collection needs to be well guarded as the enemy team can raid your stash a fan favorite here prop hunt is coming back which is a fun mode it's, it's more like a party mode but it's a lot of fun and we're also getting some ltms here uh expect additional and festive limited time modes to continue into the holiday season with a full reveal of this uh, at the season one reloaded additional loadout content that we're going to be getting here new perks this one is called shadow it'll be available at launch it's a perk two slot and it'll be with the strategist type and basically what this one does it, it makes it undetectable to enemy traps and mine and basically what this one does is uh it makes you undetectable to enemy traps and mine so that's pretty good this definitely seems like a perk that i'm gonna try out this is pretty good i love this style of perks because you do get those matches where people are just playing like absolute cowards and hiding in the back and they think that if they place a bunch of traps that they're safe and they just use something like this and just mess with them the entire match we're getting another perk at the mid-season update it's called shrapnel radar it'll be a perk three slot and it'll be uh, it'll go alongside recon so it says here dealing blast damage to enemies will reveal them on your mini map this includes any enemies affected by your area of effect tactical lethals and field upgrades eh, not not crazy and i probably, probably will never use that one but all right we're going to be getting a new kill streak or sorry score streak uh, it's called a hand cannon it'll be available at launch it's a lethal the score you need 900 uh mastery badges it says yes if you guys don't know what a hand cannon is it's basically a pistol that it's a one shot no matter where you hit them it's a, it's an absolute one shot looks like we're also getting a new wild card uh it's called high roller and that'll be available at mid season so it says here when equipped this allows the player to have a fourth score streak to earn towards during uh core 6v6 to earn towards during what uh core 6v6 multiplayer matches uh might we suggest pairing it with the hand cannon yeah i mean that sounds good so a lot of you guys are looking forward to rank play and that will be available black ops 6 rank play launch window it says here starting on november 21st and it just says here expect a full rules breakdown in the black ops 6 patch notes closer to ranked play launch so uh if you guys are interested in that keep your eyes open for that all right and there's a lot of information regarding ranked play if you guys want to read into this once again the link to this blog will be in the description below by all means go check it out but look at these you get the ranked here you get gold platinum diamond crimson iridescent top 250 and champion i mean those look like really nice rewards there that's pretty good and that champion skin is insane look at that yo if i see anybody in pubs using this skin i'm out <laughs> i'm not really the zombies guy ladies and gentlemen but there is a big portion in this blog post that pertains to zombies so it looks like we're getting a lot of season one content here for zombies so if this is something that you're into i highly recommend go check it out go check out this blog post once again link in the description below season one of the new war zone is officially arriving with the season one update here folks we're getting that area 99 which is a new resurgence map let me know how many of you guys are going to actually be trying out war zone i'm not going to lie to you guys the camo 
combos for Warzone are looking really good. I might jump in there. Get situated here. Modes and features get situated with Resurgence, Battle Royale, and Plunder playlists to start with. Followed by a battle, followed by Battle Royale ranked play and a variety of new limited time modes as the season progresses. Full Black Ops 6 integration here. Uh, drop into the fray using the Black Ops 6 loadout system with a new dedicated melee third per uh, three perks and a wild card. Bring over your global weapon builds, access a more streamlined gunsmith, and pick from any Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, or Black Ops 6 weapons that you've acquired. Oh my god. So with this update, we're also getting a big, apparently, a user interface, a UI update uh, that a that's a fully integrated experience. Let's see what it has to say here. Before you even drop into a match, expect a much anticipated UI update for Call of Duty Warzone. When Season 1 begins, the UI will enter its fully realized state. Black Ops 6 and Call of Duty Warzone will continue to be the primary game titles uh, on the home tab and players will be able to instantly access both Black Ops 6 and Call of Duty Warzone for a faster, more direct path uh, to gameplay. The store tab will now direct all players to the full Black Ops 6 and Call of Duty Warzone in-game store based on what you have installed. A Battle Pass tab will be introduced in Season 1 with similar functionality as a store tab, uh, directing players to the full Battle Pass within Black Ops 6 and Warzone. Now, we've already seen some gameplay here for the new Resurgence map during that COD event. Uh, the new Resurgence map here, Area 99. It actually looks like a pretty fun map. Not too bad. Area 99 overview for some of the landing zones. We got the bunker, the test site, the pods, the ma the manufacturing, warehouse, uh, loading bay, nuketown shipping, uh, cooling, tower, reactor, and uh, Anakin assembly. I'm assuming the reactor is going to be the hot, the hot landing spot there. Urzikstan and Rebirth are both coming back, but this time they're going to be integrated with the Omni movement and all that stuff. So hopefully that'll be fun. And for those of you wondering, Warzone ranked play will be available at the uh, mid-season update. And here we go, man. Let's talk about some of the new weapons that we're going to be getting with season one. First off, the Krig C. The Krig is back. I remember this gun from Black Ops Cold War. Although I think in Black Ops Cold War, I think it was called the Krig 6. This has 43 levels. A uh, magazine has three. The magazine size is a 30 at default. Uh, mastery badges, yes. This is going to be a full auto rifle, high damage, and average handling. Recoil pattern starts very controllable before ramping up. And the SOG, the SOG is back from Black Ops 4. Holy shit, man. This is so cool. This is an SMG for those of you who don't know. 39 levels, four magazines. The magazine size is 36. Um, let's see here. This is a full automatic submachine gun. Excellent mobility and good handling. Great rate, of, great rate of fire, high recoil. It does have a really good fire rate. We're getting a primary weapon here. It's called a Maelstrom. This is a shotgun. It's going to be an event reward and it'll be during the mid season update. Look at that, man. What the hell? Is this going to be a full auto? Yep, fully automatic shotgun, good range, handling, high recoil, large hip spread. Look at that. 34 levels, three magazines, 10 mag, uh, 10 shells, I guess, per mag. We're getting another event reward. This is a sniper rifle. This is the AMR Mod 4 mid-season weapon. Whoa. 38 levels, four magazines, max size is six bullets. Okay. Semi-automatic sniper rifle. One shot kill to torso, arms, hands, and upper legs. Damn. Very high recoil and slow rate of fire. You can steady your aim while ADSing. We're getting a secondary weapon. This is the Siren 9mm. This is going to be for mid-season, I believe. Special event reward. Look at this thing, man. So it's like a full auto pistol. 30 levels, 3 magazines, 32 mag size. Fully automatic specialty weapon. Offers SMG characteristics as a secondary weapon. Slow, a slow rate of fire, really. And now they're getting crazy with it here, folks. The power drill. It's a melee. It's going to be an event reward here. It's going to be a melee. Wait, what? That's going to be fun, I think. All right, 30 levels here. Uh, two. Uh, it's a two hit. Get out of here. Two hit kill. Very short range. Very fast attack speed. We're getting another melee weapon. This is for a mid season, and it's going to be an event reward. It's called the cleaver. So the cleaver. Okay. So yeah. All right. All right. There you go. So 30 levels here. It's a one hit kill. Short, medium range, medium attack speed. And it looks like they're going to be adding. They're calling it here special weapon attachments. But this is basically going to be like the aftermarket parts, I think, from what Modern Warfare 3 had. But here they're called special weapon attachments. So we're getting the 12 gauge dragon's breath. We're getting the buffer weight stock. We're getting the burst fire conversion for the XM4. It basically would convert it to the uh, M16. And we're getting the burst fire conversion for the compact 92 SMG as well. Wow. So the 12 gauge dragon's breath will be available at launch. It's shotguns, fire mod, uh, battle pass, page seven reward. Okay. The buffer weight stock is an XM4 assault rifle, L XMG, LMG, uh, DM10 marksman rifle stock attachment. It'll be available through the in-season and event re reward. Burst fire conversion is for the XM4. Uh, 
uh it'll be a fire mod and it'll be an event reward fire conversion will be an in-season reward for the compact 92 smg it'll be a fire mod event reward convert the compact 92 uh primary firing into an exceptionally rapid three round burst okay and you can hold down the trigger to automatically cycle through the burst whoa that reminds me of a gun i forgot what gun it what there was a gun there was a gun and i believe it was black ops 3 correct me if i'm wrong i forgot what it was called but basically an smg with a burst fire but you can hold down the trigger and it'll just burst coming to black ops 6 multiplayer zombies and Warzone at the start of season one is the armory easily accessible from your barracks challenge menu like in modern warfare 3 the black ops 6 armory is a, uh, is a rep like in modern warfare 3 the black ops 6 armory is a repository that provides access to previously missed loadout content from prior uh battle pass and events and speaking of events some of the events that we're getting in season is called one is called the hit list we're going to be getting a brand new battle pass system and black cell system operator sev headlines the new and improved battle pass so this is interesting as you guys can see from this image here uh before it used to be like sectors now it looks like it's going to be pages the season one black op 6 battle pass is brimming over with content which is both showcased and unlocked in a brand new page system think of the battle pass as a book with two front pages of instant rewards one black cell uh then 100 in-game battle pass rewards across 14 pages and a completion page that is instantly unlocked once all other pages are completed pages include free and paid content as always all based weapons are free to unlock that's going to be interesting um just to give you an idea there so you get like for example like page one the main showcase there will be a blueprint here for the for the uh xm4 and it looks like it'll just be the token system it says your battle uh, battle tokens return to the ba uh, battle pass and work in a similar way to those in previous battle passes a token bank is displayed in the top right corner of your battle pass uh these are used to unlock 100 individual rewards uh tiers uh, across all 14 pages now this is an area where i'm interested in it says here there are specific tiers that you're particularly interested in unlocking you simply need to acquire enough battle pass tokens uh to unlock the page and its tier content okay so you don't have to do it in order for example uh you guys can see here from the image like uh the uh krig the krig c is in page six if you want to just unlock the page six stuff you can just go to page six and unlock all those all those items ah damn look at that look at the black cell operator here that looks pretty cool and i'm assuming you get like a, a pet finishing move too which is great here's a look at something we're getting over placer bundle the replacer bundle that's going to be funny a competitor cdl home and away operators bundle as well it was going to be a store bundle oh actually here it is the tracer pack the replacer there you go getting something here called the tracer pack draconic forge mastercraft wow the tracer pack ideead or the idead a uh, mastercraft bundle look at that a couple other bundles are releasing this season here guys tracer pack kick some brass mastercraft ultra skin tracer pack liquidator uh tracer pack parasite warrior ultra skin man that is a that is a lot of content there's a lot of stuff to to basically go over there folks but there you go man season one november 14th that's gonna be a big update i'm wondering how much is gonna break that day it should be an interesting update as you guys know anytime there's a big update for call of duty something in the game breaks i don't know why it's just the way it's been for the last like i don't know seven years so i'm it's gonna be interesting to see how you know how much of a disaster this update's gonna be but i guess we'll find out but we'll see ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching today's video once again the link to this blog post will be in the description if you guys want to check it out for yourselves once again if you guys are brand new around here if you just haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and drop a like on today's video it would really help out any feedback comments questions concerns let me know in the comment section below let me know what you guys are looking forward to the most also in the comment section i'm looking forward to reading what you guys got to say and how you're feeling what are your thoughts on the uh new update that's coming gotta give a big thank you and shout out to the good folks over at control freaks for sending over the new black op 6 performance thumbsticks big thank you to them for sending these over for me to try these are actually pretty good they remind me very much of the i don't know if you guys ever tried my personal favorite performance sticks are the infernos they remind me very much of the infernos but one is a high rise and obviously for your right stick and one is a mid rise for your left stick they have really good texture to them really nice design if you guys are interested go check them out link in the description you can use code gray at checkout for a nice discount off your order go check them out you can use code gray also over at aim controllers and you can use code yt gray over at g fuel links in the description below once again if you use my code at checkout you get a nice discount off your order make sure to check us out on our social media platforms tiktok twitter instagram snapchat links to everything in the description below i'm gonna call it there for me today you guys we got a lot more content coming up obviously so stick around thank you so much for watching until the next one my name is gray Peace.